Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today, it's time to talk about sales, and the reason for this is because I've started getting quite a few questions on stream, and also just in general, about when are the next set of sales. So I thought I would use this video basically to kind of go through when the major sales are in a year, and also what to look forward to, and also some tips about the sales themselves, and what to look out for. So uh, first things first is uh, the simple fact that the next uh, sale is pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be at the end of April, going to be at the start of May. They usually do a massive May sale, which then leads into the Victory Day sale. And uh, this is the one of the largest sales of the year. Uh, there is like three major sale seasons, uh, one in May, one in November for the anniversary of War Thunder, and then also one at Christmas, or obviously the 25th of December. So generally, there's a lot uh, that goes on during these periods, and a lot kind of gets covered. The May sale itself covers all parts of the game. So it covers GE vehicles, it covers premium accounts, it also covers modifications, talismans, and backups, and also special packs that are around the place. And depending on what has been released the year before, they either do a pack sale of the kind of old vehicles, um, in the May sale, or uh, they decide to switch it up and then do that in the summer sale if they don't want specific vehicles at 30 or 50% off. So that's basically how it works every year. Um, one of the things is I'll cover all of these sales on the channel. So all you got to do is follow the channel. And during these periods, I'll go through my picks and go through what's available just to kind of help you out and work out what is there. We're actually going to try something a little bit different this time in the form of kind of priority and what to focus on. But always uh, the first thing that you should focus on during sales is um, the premium account. Premium account affects all of your actions in the game. So if you don't have premium accounts and you're looking to buy a premium vehicle, don't bother, just buy premium account to start with, and then if you have additional finances, then think about, you know, picking up certain vehicles, so on and so forth. Premium account is easily the best thing in the game, because it gives you double the amount of RP per action, and also gives you way more SL per action as well. So this affects all of your actions in the game, where if you only buy one specific premium, that only affects that specific tree, and that's it, which obviously isn't great. So premium account is a thing to focus on over everything else. The May sale, which is coming up soon, will have discounts for everything though, so if you already have your premium account sorted for the year, then, you know, you can have a look at other parts. The other thing to also mention is someone was asking about uh, having funds on a Steam wallet. What do you do in that case? Well, you can buy stuff through Steam if you want for War Thunder, but just understand that uh, with War Thunder on Steam, there is kind of a premium put on top of the pack price. So Steam takes a cut, right? Well, Valve takes a cut from every purchase from Steam. What Gaijin does is they increase their prices on Steam to uh, be able to match that. So it makes much more sense to buy stuff off the Gaijin store instead of off Steam. What you can actually do is you can access the Gaijin store through Steam and use your Steam wallet to buy stuff through there, which is quite interesting. So you can bypass that like added on kind of 20% that turns up or any taxes that may also turn up based on, you know, b buying stuff through Steam. So it always makes more sense to be able to buy stuff on the Gadget store. And also at the same time, you can use partner links on the Gadget store too. I have a partner link. It gives you a discount and also supports the channel. If you ever have any purchases that you want to make on the Gadget store, make sure to use that link because it will first of all support the channel, second of all give you a discount, so it's overall a positive for everything, and also you get a nice little decal in the game, which I'm going to be changing pretty soon. So the one which is there now won't be there forever, and uh, we'll be <laughs> moving it around, which will be pretty cool. So uh, the fact is, when it comes to uh, the actual Gadget store itself, the partnership link can be used an unlimited amount of times. So you don't just have to use it for one purchase and then it's done. You can use it for as many purchases as you want. So make sure to use it for every one, so therefore you can get the most out of it. That's why it's there. The May sale also has some kind of unique bundles in it, since, as I said, it does mix itself with Victory Day. So you usually get a lot of kind of Second World War bundles um, around 
around the place. Generally, this means that for the major nations, you can get some nice mid-tier premiums, which is not always something that's easy to find. And also, they usually do 50% discounts off high-ranked vehicles. Last year, there was a ton of them, such as the XM1, the T55, the Leopard, um, L44, stuff like the Draken, the A5C, the F5C, the T2. There was plenty of them uh, which were on sale from the 5th of May to the 12th of May. Now, uh, the, the sales usually come in two parts. The first part is the GE sales, or what we class as the in-game sales. This will, these will be happening for the first week. This means that you have discounts of GE vehicles, you have discounts of premium accounts, and then you have discounts of you know, modifications and also purchasing of vehicles for a sell. So you basically have everything in the game is discounted, apart from usually newer vehicles which came out in the last few updates. Then after that week, you have another set of discounts on packs themselves. So generally what you want in the first week is to pick up the premium account, um, a year of it, so you only have to do it once a year. Works out very well. Usually around about $40, easily the best purchase you're going to make. And then if you want a specific talisman or if you want to pick up a specific GE vehicle, that is the place to go. And then the next week is when the pack sales will come. Now, the reason why they do this is to make it so you spend the most money. So you can buy stuff in the first part and not realize that there are more stuff coming in the second part. Or maybe uh, you are waiting for something in the second part. So they tease you with something in the first part to give you access to it. This is something that happens a lot uh, in general you know marketing it sucks i wish it wasn't the case but unfortunately it is so that's just how it goes usually what they also do is big ticket items they don't put on sale so things which are the big sellers don't normally make it so don't be surprised if you don't see one of the vehicles that you're really looking forward to because it's probably already way to uh way it's selling way too good like the f20 for example the tiger shark i highly doubt will be on sale but what will probably be on sale is all of the rank 7 premiums from last year which turned up for ground uh, because those are the ones which are a little bit older compared to a few other vehicles stuff like the leopard 2a4 for example and also things like the m1 kvt so those will be things to kind of sink your teeth into as it goes around. Now, another thing to also note about the May sale is, since it's coming in a few weeks, is just save your money, right? Just wait until sale season. Wait until the uh, sales are around so you can pick up some stuff. I feel like a lot of people don't wait and instead uh, end up just buying stuff even just before the sale or just around the sale. There's no real reason to buy anything in War Thunder unless it's on sale and also unless it's like a pre-order you really want to play um, before an update comes out. So there's no need technically to you know pick up premium time or G or anything like that when it's not on sale because it's usually on sale at least three times a year sometimes even four times a year in the summer sale which can you know mean that you can just get stuff for half off so don't really buy anything full price you don't need to there's no real reason to apart from if you need it right now and the vast majority of the time in the war thunder you don't need stuff right now you can wait a few months and you can have a good time with it then obviously if you have the capital to do it obviously do it but a lot of people don't so just focus on waiting for the sales so look forward to the may sale as i said we'll cover it all on the channel we'll cover everything about it as we usually do and as always make sure to have a wonderful weekend and i'll see you next time i'd just like to thank tulio ponticovo brendan quinn carrion crow gus irenicus pieman wartinder Teddy, Daniel Stanton, Martinez, B. Young, Alan Hacker, Ozzy Panzer, Liam Shear, Opium Prime, Lafouche, Cam Arslan, Uncle Bean, and Derek R. for supporting the channel.